Permissions are really boring as a topic. I don't think about it much on my own machine. Um, could be boring, but I'm definitely going to touch on it. Absolutely. Um, because knowing permissions is... Here, I'll show you. Foo.sh. Let's put a shebang here. Bin, bash, and let's echo hi. Now we have a bash script, right? And we can run bash foo.sh, and it works. It prints hi. But if I run foo.sh, what happens when I run this? Permission denied. Knowing permissions is super useful here because foo.sh doesn't have the executable bit, but do you know what does have the executable bit? Bash has it. So bash can execute and read this in. In fact, we could even read it in over standard in. I could cat foo and pipe it into bash, and all of these work. They work just fine, um, even though foo is not executable. Um, so I can't execute this. Now we could chmod plus x foo, which will add the executable bit, and then I can run it. Um, so that is the same as this, right? Right? They're the same? Let's find out. What if instead of echo high, we declared an associative array called array, we set array foo to high, and then we echoed array at spot foo. What if we did this? What happens now? If we run bash on foo, we get high, but if we run foo here, so my whole point is be very careful with this. I think permissions do matter. They can be boring, but look at what I just did here. I can show, I can make, even though this permissions was an indirect thing here, even though permissions were kind of, um, they weren't exactly the issue. If you avoid permissions, you better know all this other stuff. That's what I can say. So don't get me wrong. This didn't, this wasn't fixed by permissions. It was actually masked by permissions. But not knowing permissions will get you into these situations and you might not know how to get yourself out of it. Um, so yeah, don't get me wrong. Permissions might be boring, but I can make them fun. <laughs> I promise you I can make them fun. So what do we have here? The, uh, the reason this didn't work, okay, if anyone's following along, this hard codes the path to bin bash, and that is bash version three, which doesn't support associative arrays. So if I did bin bash on foo.sh, it still won't work. But if I just did bash, this calls bash from my path, which is opt homebrew bin bash. So if I call this, this works. That's the difference. The way we can quote unquote fix this is by doing user bin env bash. This will pull bash out of my environment. So it'll pull it out of my um, path variable and then it works.